everyone and thanks for joining me here on my channel again today. Uh, today we're back with Google Meet again and we're going to be looking at some of the new features here and in particular looking at the new tiled view for Google Meet. So a common question I get asked um, in education and especially in remote learning situations, I can't see all my students, is there a way I can do this? Well before now there was a grid view extension for Google Meet which I've done a previous video on but now Google Meet has integrated this within their own platform and now have different options for how many students you can see at different times so I'm going to show you how to do that now so we're going to go into a meeting in the usual way by going in via a nickname here so I'm just going to call this demo and join a meeting straight in so you'll see me appear on the screen in just a second so there we go you can see me now so we're going to go into a meeting now by clicking join uh, get rid of this and you'll see me appear on the screen like this. Now I haven't got participants to actually show you this with today but I'm going to show you how to set it up so you will see um, all your different participants. So I'm going to go to my traffic lights in the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to go up to change layout. Now you've got some different views on here at the moment. You, you might have tiled as your preset or you might have auto or spotlight or sidebar. So auto will change over depending on how many people are in the meeting uh, do it automatically for you so that might be the best option to pick tiled is what i always have so i like to see lots of different people on my screen at once and um, spotlight is whoever is talking at that current time so i tend to find that's a little bit off-putting if lots of people are in a meeting and talking uh, it tends to flash a little bit and give me a little bit of a headache so i don't tend to use that and we have sidebar, so we have the person who's talking plus uh, the people who have spoken most recently down the side. Now I go with tiled, I always like to see everybody in the meeting, I think everyone's equal and I want to see everybody um, interacting. So I click on tile view. Now at the bottom it will probably come up automatically as 16. So now you can drag this left and right depending on how many students or people you want to see at any one time. So I can drag it to left, I have 9 also have the option for six being a minimum. So I have six, nine, 16. And then I also have the option for 30, 42, or 49. So this can be up to 49 people on the screen at any one time. Now, I don't do many meetings where there is more than 49 students or members of staff at the same time. So I think this is perfectly reasonable. If you need a bit more than that, then the Google Grid View extension is still for you. And I have a previous video on that, so I'll link that in the description below. Um, but I personally like to see everyone, so I go with 49. And I click uh, click off there, and it will save automatically every time I go into a meeting thereafter. So please make sure you share this with your friends, colleagues, anyone that might find this useful. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Take care.